Welcome, guys, to the start of a new Let's Play as our fourth game. Number iteration. Of course, there are more games in the series, but Pikmin has come to the Nintendo Switch, and we may not be hitting it exactly on release date, but I've been waiting to play as part of my backlog. I've been eagerly anticipating the relaxing Pikmin experience. So with our flowery friends ready to go, we are of course going to be trying to go for as 100% as we can do. After all, I'm pretty sure there'll be a counter to us to get visiting various stages, finding out what has actually happened to start the game this time. Is not Olimar in trouble again? Is it someone else in trouble? What's going on? How did we end up back in the land of Pikmin once again? And why do they need to reach the top of the food chain once again? The only way to find out is by pressing any button and beginning our story. So sit back and relax. I'll be commentating down here in the corner as we go on with our lovely nature experience. <laughs> Food chain galore. Oh, you could do two players in the story. Okay. Number one. Let's begin. Give us our intro. Set us our scene. <laughs> I'm Captain Olimar. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet and how I was ultimately rescued. Again? After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. The Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. Quest that was nearing its end. For a second, it did sound like a repeat cap. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. Now we know it's really not a recap. What is this place? about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. You're telling me? Wait, where are you running off to? That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Just get on you then, it's fine. Look around. Find our Pikmin. 
in the plot plants. Plot plants? That's the one. I saw some of the pigmen head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. I just need to press X and hold down it and then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll go, let go, and let her rush. It's fine, we'll destroy someone's home. We are getting our tutorial. Aha! I knew it! Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. But in a house is the bizarre bit. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Sure, I'll record in log. We never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. Okay, when I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship pass without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Pikmin strange behavior. I need to find my missing ship pass, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Okay, then. Let us begin the searching. And you were hidden behind the tutorial bits. Some yellow buddies. Anything to else? Don't look before you leap. Don't look. That's fine then. Guessing this takes me back up. What if I can rotate this in some way? Looks like I could throw at it. Hello, some blue buddies. How many Pikmin can hand on to your fur? Why do they not instantly try to eat you like I know Pikmin to do in the past? I haven't seen Pikmin be selective of the species they attack before. I can hear a lot of guys around here. Further to the right. <laughs> Could those Pikmin be playing? Nope. No fun allowed, Pikmin. Can I go do another that? Ah, oh, what? Can I jump this? No. Can't pull this over. Well, time for us to go out there and explore more, I guess. Cuteness overload. Bit of wondering what to do, though, exactly. Fine Pikmin, but a little, a little way more than this that ran away. Oh, I actually, actually got more. So I've got 11 red, 40, and I'm 33 of 33 currently. <laughs> I was a bit worried I was going to crush them then. Maybe I should have looked before I pushed. Ooh. I could check the area with the right stick, but going up was like this is an interesting one to me. Alright, we got 53 Pikmin. I'm guessing there must be 100 to find. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. I'm searching for Pikmin first. We need to stay on that scent. Well, using R helps keep track of the scent. I'm sure it does, but... Uh, there are more buddies to find first. 
I thought just going near you would pull you in. There's some guys over there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting the Pikmin, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it feels like I should be. I should have X to jump and climb up. Kind of in a no Pikmin left behind. I have plenty of Pikmin now. Where are those ship parts? Well... We're 86. It is very weird to be in a house. You're right. There's a Pikmin up there. I have lots, lots and lots of Pikmin at this point. 90. Ninety-three. Well, if I'm supposed to be able to find a hundred, I'm well on my way. Oh, Hello, an enemy. It is weird to start with so many Pikmin, but uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, there's some on top of that cushion. A creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that uh, thing have swallowed one hole? No. Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Dog plus Pikmin combat. Him up. Oh my god, they really did. <laughs> they really beat it up. It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Well, starting with uh, what seems to be probably a 100 limit Pikmin I could get it does make a fight a little bit easier, yeah. But it looks like I missed seven. There were more out there. We saw a couple on top of a pillow over there. Oh, well, they'll just have to live there now. An infestation of someone's house. Awesome. I had recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. And attached the latest version of my voice log. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue core. They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. Whoever builds these spaceships? The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. Me. That's right. You are my last hope. Sure. Emergency mission. Rescue the rescue corps. <laughs> Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Find the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Okay. You mean you'll be able to change your look and name later? Okay. I'll have the tan that I can't get in real life. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Oh, I thought that was bald hair stuff. <laughs> Let's go with that face. What, what, oh, we have to have hair. I don't want berries on my head. <laughs> I'll go for the, the hawk. A green hawk. And... Green all around. We'll go for green and orange. <laughs> yeah, I'm beautiful. Yeah, this is, this is Alessandri. I look mean like this, sure. Bye bye me. The rescue corps newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. See, I'm the newest officer. He's actually like 16 because it's a game. But it just looks incredibly old for the age. Had a hard life. Not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Here comes the triple shipwreck. They sent me in a little pod to save people in big ships. Orange is a traditional spacesuit color. Right there, this is me. <laughs> There's a dog. Ochi, this young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the shepherd family. This is his first mission. You encountered the rescue course, rescue pup Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Time for us to team up then, I see. I followed automatically. You found someone in need of rescuing! That I did. Okay, begin rescue operations at once. Can I help? I want to grab... I, I feel like I should do part of this job too, but... You don't know... Got some pulling power, haven't you? All the dirt's been removed! Hmm, uh, huh? Is that you, Archie? Like the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Archie found and rescued me, together. That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Archie to listen to anyone other than our captain. Is it Ochi? Maybe. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. As the Rescue Corps' comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers, plus he's handy with a wrench. You met up with Colin, the rescue calls com operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Hello. My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Alessandri, isn't it? I could be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no! <laughs> oh yes, I spent days sleeping out here in the rough. 
There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Nolima, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official rescue corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions, but if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Okay, then. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepard. Shepard! We need Rex now. Off we go, then. To a lovely world of plants, fauna, and... Well, that wasn't hard to find. How could you not find this? There she is, the SSS ship. It was minuscule position from you. You could have looked at it. You would have known where it was if you went five meters up. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. Can you go? You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. <gasps> it's just up ahead. Let's go. Hello? Plants on this planet are gigantic. Yes, yes. Fishy. Always make sure the area is safe with R. Well, they're gonna be like pits, traps. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. It's impossible to get over the ledge. Don't worry, we already see this. Use R to find another route. There's something under that dirt. Yeah. I guess we're not going to do anything about it. We should help too. Don't make the poor pup do it all. It's the perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Bachi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. Ah, we're management. I get it. Need two managers to oversee one worker doing the job. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue cause pride and joy. Ah, huh, this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. <laughs> For real? A rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Oh, it does look pretty dark down there. Courage. The Burrow of Beginnings. Now it's time for us to learn how much of old games uh, mechanics are mixed in. And what are the new? Obviously, Archie is one of them. Hey, what is it, Archie? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Explain to me why we have to wear snow. No, no. Is there anything down here? No. Surely our pup should have a space helmet too. If we care. Oh my! What a place to find the captain! That terrifying individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Alessandri! The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers going back- What? There's no time for a history lesson! Hurry up and do something! You're a shepherd, are you? Oh no, she's surrounded by creatures, don't worry! We've already found our apex predator by the look of it. Phew, 
Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arm's almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? <laughs> Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're alright. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps. If you don't remember. No. Did you order Oachi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Alexandri? Huh. Oachi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. I guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. A 99th gen rescue corps officer? She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Can we rename you by them rename the group, by the way, to the rescued corps? Because that's what we're doing. We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepard? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. No. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Oh. Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Okay. Copy that. Oh. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Olazandri. Copy that is the rescue cause way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? okay. Copy that. Understood. <laughs> hmm, I'm sure you're just nervous. <laughs> This is your first official mission, after all. It'll all come naturally to you soon enough. Don't worry. That said, you'll need to review the rescue course, rescue journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Now, don't worry, I've just got a policy of now doing everything opposite from what you guys do in the hope that I don't end up having to be rescued. Because your way of doing things hasn't gone too well. <laughs> Not that I'm contrarian. The rescue journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no... Doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. Irma Shepard, Captain in Command. Claro. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Oachi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Sure, Ollie, sure, yeah. Thank you for the follow there, the epic. Welcome to the channel, quite the conundrum. What would you do, Ollie's Hatchery? I thought you were the teacher. Oh, Barrow Beginnings 100%. Guess there wasn't anything to do here. You've got ID badges, you've got missions, the rescue journal as well. It's basically telling me to rush right now. That was quite a rush. I remember this area. There. That's where I fell in. My word. To think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Up we go. Hey, there's something under the light. So on the other side of this hole, we could see that there were some unbudded flowers. So you know what that might signify for our next area. <laughs> Excuse me, Alessandri. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Yes. 
All right, Captain, the rescue cause flag has been officially planted. Now for the stats report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Alessandria and Ochi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. And also you delivered a report to her even though she would have known. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. And good for you. You did it. Well, here she is. The SS Shepherd. That is it indeed. Flowers. <laughs> is that smoke pouring out the SS Shepherd? Beautiful. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. <laughs> Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. I found treasure! <laughs> After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I've deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparkling from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepherd, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Go with that. We have to secure energy sources. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Uh, what's that over there? <laughs> oh. It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. As this beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Let's go find the treasure then. Is there anything sparkly around here? I mean, to be, to be honest, the things that just lit up are kind of sparkly. Well, I see a sparkly. I see many sparklies. Is this what I think it is? I saw something else too. This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie, press a plus to open the radar map. What is this? Is that one of those forks you eat escargot with? Snails. Presence of sparkling confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. Now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Look this way. <gasps> Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But um, how are we going to move it? 
But first, I guess we got to dig it out. Is it what it is? Oh, excellent. It's on the move. This is even more like real life. Three managers watching the worker get to work. <laughs> this treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Yes, energy detected! Can you go? If we can collect 250 more units of sparkling, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. Okay. The SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? High octane. Energy. I believe we can get it to run on sparkling alone, though it may be, may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Get off. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. New treasure collected indeed.